I'm here with Tim from Black Magic Design, and um, he's got something that he won't tell me. He won't tell me what this is, but what 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 on earth is that? Do you like the look of that, Dan? Well, I don't know what it is, but yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. This is this is for me the most fun product that we've got at the show this year. It doesn't look like much. It's not really a finished product. I can tell that. But what is uh, it? but this, this I, I'm a bit of a geek, and I like I like hacking stuff. I like stuff that I can get my teeth into. I like getting under the skin of things. And, uh, and quite often when you come to the Black Magic booth, you see these nice industrial design and finished products. But it's what goes on underneath the hood that's really important. What is it? So this this is a uh, this is a new bit of technology we're announcing at the show, and this is a shield for Arduino. So Arduino is a very, um, a very low-cost small computing platform, which is perfect for uh, hardware and software developers. Um, Arduino has a real bias towards hardware developers because of the way it works. And what we've launched um, this year at the show is a shield. So the little green board in between is what we make. And this shield sits on top of an Arduino using the pins and allows us to send... Let's show the camera. So I, 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 Turn it the other way. Which way do you want it? That way. The other way that way. That way. That way. That allows us to send control protocols, um, so the camera control protocols, to the camera um, over SDI. So it means using an Arduino board, we can write control software and then combine that with hardware. So here at the top, we've got some buttons. Actually, this is off a, this is off a, a PlayStation controller. It got, a PlayStation controller died in order for us to demonstrate this today. Um, and this is just a simple few buttons off a controller and a, and a, and a pad. And using the software that's been written, we can now send control protocols to the camera over, over SDI, SDI. Over SDI. So, one what, of the which, what, which control protocols can you? So all of our cameras now have the ability to be controlled over the SDI protocol. We send an embedded signal, the mm. camera control data. So that could be anything. It could be color correction. It could be lens control. Um, it could be talk back. It could be tally. And that all gets sent over the SDI cable. So not only are you receiving a signal from the camera and sending a return program feed to the camera, embedded in that signal is also all of the control data for all Blackmagic cameras. Now that protocol... That's pretty amazing, actually. That protocol we've made open, right? So yeah. we've published that protocol along with the SDKs for all of our products. And we've said to anybody that wants to go and make their own software or make their own hardware to control our products, go for it. It's completely free. You can download it on our website. Um, but in order for you to send that signal, you need to embed it into the SDI. How can we get that into people's hands cheaply, cost efficiently, and allow them to start playing with it? Arduino is a fantastic platform for that. But what we needed to do was find a way to get SDI onto an Arduino so that you can em embed that control right. signal into it. So can you imagine if you wanted to make a, a camera control unit for any of our cameras, you can make your own. Okay, great. Um, what, when is that going to be available and how much is it going to be? So this is going to be shipping, I think, in about a couple of months' time. Um, I'm, I'm anticipating probably about end of May, June. Um, price on the SDI shield is going to be $85. So that's going to be pretty low cost. Uh, the rest of it, you make yourself. The Arduino's $15 or so if you get an original Arduino one. or I've seen them for $3 on various you know, uh, online websites uh, for variations of that board set. Um, and the rest of it, you build yourself. And all you've got to do is buy some PlayStation controllers and take them to bits. Well, yes, there is that. I mean, you know. It actually works really well. These are on the very, front of the booth. You can go and have a play with them. Very one. nice. We've made a few of them, yeah. Tim, thank you very much. Not at all. Cheers, buddy. Thank you.